Norwegian horse. No, Mongolian horse. Oh. Welcome to the Heart to Heartland podcast. Here are your hosts. Welcome back, everyone. It's episode 11. My lucky number. Is it? Yeah. Oh, nice. I don't know if I have a lucky number. Oh, really? Yeah. Mine's 11 and 19. Is that... Wait a minute. Yeah. What's your yeah. birthday? So Is it 19th? Is... Yeah, my birthday's March 19th. Yeah. And Jessica's is December 19th. So. Oh, uh, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. Lucky number. I don't know why 11 is a lucky number. I don't know. It just maybe, always has been, I guess. Maybe it's aesthetically pleasing, like one and That's one. That's what it is. Yeah. Well, I'm Soyla and I'm here with my co host, Isabel. Yeah. I uh, am exhausted today, so Soyla's taking the lead today. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I'm exhausted too, but I'm trying my best. Yeah. Oh, I know you're tired too. Yeah, yeah. But um, you've been working all day, and I just woke up. Yeah, like we, we are keeping our promise to bring you our weekly yes. podcast. So, let's start with some updates. Um, last week we talked about Michelle having uh, some kind of role in some kind of I don't know movie. TV show? We don't know yet. Yeah, we weren't sure. But she has another um, pr project coming out, this movie on Lifetime called Gone Mom, uh, which is based on uh, a true story about this um, mother who has disappeared. I don't think it's solved. Oh, and that's what um, Alicia had seen Michelle filming in Vancouver because yeah. Michelle yeah. was getting arrested in this film. Yeah. <laughs> Spoiler. Oh, um, is she like a bad guy or something? Or is I she... think so. Or oh, at least, I don't know, actually. Like, um, I haven't looked into this uh, case because I want to be surprised when yeah. I'm going to watch the movie. But, um, you know, usually they say that the husband did it. So mm -hmm. if she's um, aff affiliated with the husband, then, you know. Maybe she's, I see. you know, gotcha. involved somehow. I don't know. It could be the other woman. Exactly. Yeah. So if you have Lifetime channel, um, the movie comes out June 5th, which is the day that this podcast comes out. So, Ooh. yeah. So if you're listening to this on Saturday, like, that's going to be on later or earlier. I don't know. when you, Whenever you're listening yeah. to this. Um, then, um, we saw a new music video from Trace Atkins, who is married yeah. to Victoria Pratt, who of course plays Casey on Heartland. And, um, did you watch the music video? I did because I had seen that Victoria had tweeted it and I was like, mm. oh, I have, if she, I feel like she could be in it. And she was. Yeah. What but did you think? Well, it's, it's interesting. I think it's kind of cool that she's married to Trace Adkins because he's kind of like, he's like a legend. And I love yeah. Victoria too. So it was kind of cool to see those two worlds mixing together. Yeah, it's like cowboy and ca cowgirl yeah. <laughs> together. No, like real life. Yeah. Yeah. I thought the music video was funny because at first, you know, I, I was watching it. I was like, wow, this is like typical like guy meets the girl and like, but then uh, yeah. their dog gary was kind of a scene stealer in my opinion so oh, was that their actual dog yeah oh i should have known that because she does post a lot of pictures yeah of the, of so that, that that was kind of cute that they included him you know we know him from social media media so yeah. it was like <gasps> it's gary <laughs> gary yeah uh, and then Jessica Amley um, has gotten a r new role. Jessica, of course, yes. plays Mallory or played Mallory right. yeah. um, in this Canadian feature called A Hundred Lies. And oh, it's Canadian. Yeah. Mm. So kinda, that's even kind of cool. cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then in the same um, movie, uh, they have Rob 
Rayco from R Riverdale. Oh. And Brandon McKnight from The Flash. Well, I'm very excited to see whatever she does. Yeah, I haven't seen anything from her in a while. Did you watch that Greenhouse Academy that she was Um, in? I'm meaning to. It's on my <laughs> Netflix list. It's not even list. It's a pretty good show, actually. But she's not. She left in season two. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it's it's an interesting show. Yeah. It's it's going to be fun to see what kind of role she has. In, yeah. You know, because she, she's really talented actress. So, you she's know, very it's, much so. yeah, it's nice to see her doing things. I'm glad she's, you know, she's getting the attention that she deserves because she's incredibly talented. Yeah. And then speaking of doing roles, um, uh, other roles, uh, Alicia uh, was doing pickups for her movie Stark gaze that she stars in and then she also helps um to produce yeah yeah i'm very very proud of whatever she's doing i can't yeah. wait to see it. it looks interesting like it does i'm i might not be the movie's target audience but um it's gonna be interesting yeah. to see because um you know it looks like it's a very different role it from Georgie. Yeah. and it looks kind of dark yeah so this past week, uh, we were texting because you were watching the show Jan. Yeah. And you noticed something interesting. I did. So I don't know if you guys have heard of Jan. It's a Canadian show based on Jan Arden. It's about Jan Arden, kind of about her life. It's so funny. And it's also filmed in Calgary, which also the show has the same producers as Heartland. So, that being said, I'm watching this certain episode on Crave, and I they had this little pop-up scene, like a flashback for this character, and it was literally like two seconds long. And I paused it, and I was like, no way, I know where that is. It was filmed in the Heartland Kitchen, so I will post the picture of it. Yeah. And I was like, that is the Heartland Kitchen. So after, you know, putting all that information together, I'm like, obviously, and since they have the same set designer, is that yeah, what it's yeah, yeah. yeah, both shows have the same set designer. So I'm, they probably used Heartland for that one little scene. So yeah. like, that is that is just so cool. Uh, I had seen that picture, picture from that scene posted by uh, the set designer. Um, and I was like, even if, you know, they had these, like, new-to-me characters in it, I was like, wait a minute, what yeah. is this? This is totally I, I, like Heartland Kitchen. Anyway. Yep. So it's cool. funny to think that they were like, well, we need a location for this kitchen yeah. scene. And someone was like, well, you know, yeah. there's the Heartland Kitchen we could use, like. Yeah. That's, it, was, it was just so cool to see because I like both, I love both shows. Um, yeah. it's funny though it's so funny um one of the producers was all, actually uh, my professor in film school really so when jan was just starting to film was when i had when i knew him when i was in school and so we were talking about it, and i was talking to him about how much i love jan arden not knowing that he was you know a same producer on the show as you know the heartland producers like yeah um Gordy Randall and I think Tom Cox and all those guys, right? And I'm like, this yeah. is so funny how worlds collide. Yeah. It's such a small world. Yeah. Uh, but um, like a day later or something, I watched this movie called Let Him Go. I knew it was filmed in Alberta. So I knew they had some of the crew working on this movie, but um, I actually uh, spotted a lot of guest stars from Heartland like Greg Lawson who plays Clint oh, was okay. in it yeah he was kind of a jerk in it so it was <laughs> interesting to see him in that kind of role and then Bradley Stryker who was uh this guy Tony in season 12 episode 6 I don't know if you remember but basically oh, I'm not sure who that is but okay yeah, it's 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 the guy who was working at Fairfield and he had like a criminal record and basically he was the guy um Ty defended and then you know oh, okay. Amy got kind of 
oh. on, the, on the other side. Yeah. Anyways, and then uh, Ryan Northcott, who played Lee, uh, who was helping Ty and Amy with their house in okay. season 12. Yeah, 12. I think it was season 13. Anyways, and then Aiden Moreno, who plays Rick, of course. And then oh, the, Rick, that's funny. Yeah, but it's funny they changed his voice in it. He had like oh. one line, but it was dubbed because I, I think maybe because of his accent or something. Oh. Because it was set in like 1960s uh, Montana oh. or something. Yeah. Well, speaking of that, in one of the episodes of Jen, I think it was probably the one after the one we were talking about, Aunt Evelyn's in it. Oh. And she plays this. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. She's like um, the single mom who's like just out, like, freshly divorced yeah. and like out doing like young girl stuff and it's like young girl <laughs> stuff not Rick but it's like it's so funny to see uh, her character on this show being this like wild free spirit like elky <laughs> like <laughs> how do we know that's like, not what girl. aunt evelyn is doing i know <laughs> so i was just like this is so funny because i've never seen her in anything else before so it was kind of cool so i'm assuming yeah. she's an alberta actress too yeah i think so yeah and then the first uh person i actually noticed was this guy called john tree Trilevin? I don't know how to say his last name, but basically he played a justice of peace in this and in Heartland oh, he oh. Wa he played the wedding minister for a tiny Amy's wedding. So you know, he oh, wow. he has kind of a you know, this one type of role. I, I wonder was... if he's actually like an officiator though, because I... you know how the guy who officiated Sean and Amber's wedding was the same one who did Jack and Lisa. Yeah. And he's actually a real officiator. I wonder if he is as I well. was trying to find information about that. Like I wasn't sure if it was him because there was that like just his yeah. na name online. But yeah. he has done other roles, so he's definitely an actor to some degree. Yeah, but it was it, it was funny because I even watched the credits to see, you know, who was working on it. And yeah. then I went like, well, oh, Heartland, Heartland, yeah. Heartland. That's so, so cool. like, I don't even know these people, but it's kind of like, yeah. I know them. Well, we know them, but we don't. Yeah. Like, it's funny though because it's the same when I'd go on set and be like I would feel like going up to these people and be like hey how's it going because I know them yeah but that ain't the it ain't vice versa They're like, you know who are you <laughs> yeah exactly so it'd be like I I know you but I'm not gonna get close because that's just weird <laughs> yeah like, uh they filmed part of this movie in Tromheller, which is where oh, they filmed they? Uh, yeah the mongolia okay. scenes for heartland so i was like have we driven there oh, like is that did sorry did you recognize any of the any of the <laughs> i don't know there? like it looks kind of the same there you know oh, <laughs> but like yeah. yeah not that you know not that i remember yeah. but you know maybe. yeah Okay, so today we thought we could talk about some of our, or in general, pet peeves people have about Heartland. And pet yeah. peeves are like these like tiny things that kind of annoy you, that yeah. don't really matter, but they still yeah, annoy you. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Like the first one, uh, you know, a lot of horse people get annoyed when the horses are so vocal on the show. Mm -hmm. Like seen that complaint a lot yeah like i know that they do make a lot of noise but um you know maybe not in every scene that you yeah. know but they yeah. do add a lot of those whinnies and they do uh, they really uh, do in post-production so it's funny to think that they have these like discussions like okay so this doesn't feel dramatic enough. So let's just add like a horse noise yeah. or something. I mean, it makes sense. Like, because you don't even know if the person sound editing even realizes what, how, and 
why or what kind of sounds horses make. Yeah. Because you're kind of just doing it to make it realistic, but it not necessarily isn't. Because my horse, the horse, my horse, like, never makes any sounds. Yeah. Like, ever. <laughs> yeah. So I wonder if they have, like, three sound bites and they're like, okay, yeah. let's just get one and let's use this one. Yeah. Basically. But I know that annoys some people. Like, it doesn't usually annoy me, but sometimes I'm like, okay, come on, that's kind of overboard. Yeah. yeah. So, what's your first one? My first one, this came right to mind, is it's a season seven episode. Amy goes to brush her teeth and then she goes to drink orange juice. <gasps> Who does Ooh, that? Yeah, like that's, that's a psychopath. <laughs> that ain't right. Yeah. Like, why don't you have, like, a menthol while you're at it or yeah, something? Yeah, might as well just smark some mal <laughs> smoke some Marlboro Reds or something. Yeah. <laughs> oh, ooh. That's, right? That's a, yeah. You remember that episode? I yeah, don't, I but I can imagine. And she was, like, blow-drying her hair, and Georgia was talking to her about something, and she was brushing her teeth, and then she went yeah. to the kitchen, she poured some orange juice, and I was like... That actually reminds me not necessary related to brushing teeth but um mm -hmm. this is something that maybe it's like different in different countries but you know well first of all they have a dishwasher but they always use the sink mm. yeah that we know yeah. unless it's jack's phone that needs washing <laughs> basically yeah and then uh not only that but um usually and this doesn't just happen in heartland but they wash them with the you know yeah soap soap I don't yeah know what it's called but um and then they hand the plate over and the next one is trying it yeah. and i'm like why aren't you washing it like is this yeah. that ain't right yeah. no that's not that's not a right way not even here yeah okay no. okay good because uh, no, i've been second guessing every plate since you know, when I went to Canada and I was like, do I want to eat from oh this? God. No way. That's so <laughs> funny. Oh, my God. But, but yeah. yeah. No, we, yeah. I personally wash and rinse my plates. But <laughs> Yeah. Actually, you know, speaking of the house and all the things, like, it does bother me a little bit that we've never seen Jack's bedroom. It really bothers me. Like, I know they don't have anything there, but it, it would be kind of yeah. like a wow factor if they, yeah. like... It doesn't have it, to be, like, a big deal. Yeah. It doesn't have to be, like, some sort of, you know, big deal where you're, like, some big moment that's happening there. It can just be him walking into his room to grab something, which he yeah. does, but we never see him in his room. But I was, uh, when I wrote that down, I was thinking, like, does a guy his age who is kind of active you know doing like going fishing and riding and stuff like that does he actually spend a lot of time in his bedroom other than sleeping mm. because you know even he if he's playing his guitar yeah. or like doing doing reading yeah, makes, or whatever yeah but it would it be why they why they why they decided not to but that yeah. doesn't make me any less um happier or sad yeah. or whatever like i really wish we could see it yeah but, i mean we technically have because we've been in it yeah but and then you there's this picture of you pointing underneath the table like oh this must be where jack sleeps because there's nothing <laughs> i don't remember like, that i do because it was really funny i'm sitting in jack's chair and for, like it's just this rectangle like room that they use for like snacks and stuff i think yeah it has like, like chair and a drawer and yeah I think that's it yeah it's a uh, it's very small and i wonder how it's supposed to look in the heartland world yeah. because that side of the house isn't that big you know what i mean so that would be a very small room to begin yeah, with yeah it's like the bed is like really cramped yeah. Yeah, um, and then especially when you have Lisa come into that too, like, now that's two people having to share this small rectangle space. Yeah. Rectangular space. I've, it would have been funny, like, when, you know, Lisa moved in and she had 
her own habits and stuff like if she had made some changes to the bedroom like added cushions or because you I'm know sure she yeah well, right like i mean yeah because it's her room yeah you know, as well so yeah and another thing is you know we talked about this or mentioned this like they only have one bathroom like i'm surprised yeah. they don't like have fights about it more often there's a lot of people who live in that house yeah i mean that's one bathroom there's the outhouse but like i doubt yeah, I anyone else besides jacks that's for emergencies <laughs> yeah and then uh something i've been wondering and um i kept kind of trying to find out while we were on the set was do they have a washing machine for laundry mm -hmm. Because we see them putting laundry on the yeah. you know outside, but like I don't know, I uh, expected it to be in the mud room or something. Was it not there? I don't think so. And then I asked Simon Dakin, who uh, is or was one of the set um, designers, like if he knows uh, if there's like. Uh, some place that they wash their laundry and i think he even checked the um bathroom but i don't think there's anything really? there yeah so i, I thought know. for sure it was in the mud room yeah i think so too uh, or i thought so too because you know it wouldn't make sense because they have that sink there i've never thought of that before yeah like i know it's like it doesn't make any difference, but it's just something I've been thinking that is just about. Like weird. I n I yeah. always assumed it was there, and there would be no other spot for it. Yeah, I think, um, or maybe I'm just um, I don't remember this correctly, but remember when Jack had his like jar for the mm. recipe? Yes. Wasn't like Lisa going through those cabinets for the recycling? Yeah, yes, you're right. So, I don't know. I don't think there was like mm. an eclipse of washing machine, but because there's there's nowhere else to put it, there'd be nowhere else. Yeah. So he. So what did he reply to you? Just that I think they don't he said one? that I I didn't find it or I, you know, <laughs> I don't know where it is, like. <laughs> I know it's not that serious, but you I know, know it's not a big deal. But it's kind of a, a little bit of a plot hole. Yeah, or could because there's many times you see something to do with laundry or laundry baskets, like countless yeah. times. And you would think it's in the mud room because, uh, you know, they come in and they have dirty clothes. They could like toss them into the yeah. machine, but especially at a farmhouse, yeah. yeah. Like my parents live on a farmhouse, and you walk in, and the washer and dryer is right there. Yeah. I think that's how those old farmhouses were yeah know, so i'm just gonna assume that's where it is but you know unless it's integrated into the cabinets then or the stellar stellar cellar <laughs> oh yeah the stellar cellar yeah stellar cellar <laughs> say that 10 times fast <laughs> i can't even say it one time fast yeah <laughs> Literally, though. So I love Tim. He is one of my favorites. However, he chews with his mouth open a lot. I wonder if it's like a choice by Chris or if like I he just yeah, I wonder it. if it's something he's supposed to do or if it's something Chris just added because it's like, hey, it's pretty t Tim like. And it is. Yeah, because that would but annoy people. Yeah. Yeah. I just thought, like, what yeah. the heck? And I love Tim. Besides Jisa, he's my favorite, I'd say. Yeah. But like, that's just annoying or like when he always stops in for food it's funny but i'd be annoyed too <laughs> yeah like it just you know makes sense for his character because he's always like I'm jumping yeah. and speaking oh, you know when he has his mouth he full has and so many scenes where he's just like eating something or there's i remember season 12 episode 10 when uh, lisa comes back from wherever she was that whole season yeah and he's sitting there with his juice box. Yeah. <laughs> so I random. think it's just not only like very Tim-like, but it just shows that 
you know, Chris is very like physical char- or yeah. actor because he wants to yeah. seem natural and like yeah, like and like he does- he's present in the scene. Yeah, yeah, it it does work well for him. Yeah. And I think there was a couple times season one and two where he was actually chewing gum. Do you remember any of those scenes? Uh, not sure, it, but it kinda, I can imagine. It kind of suited that. Um, it just kind of suits him. Yeah, I think it may ha- help him get into character being like this, like this kind of, yeah, gross man. This, this <laughs> I don't know what to call crazy cowboy. Yeah, like he doesn't care about manners or, you know, not even when he's eating. No. But yeah, now that you mention it, like, yeah, that's annoying because it annoys me in real life for sure. Yeah. But yeah. I guess it's just like, oh, it's Sam. So it's I just Tim. haven't, yeah, you know, like I haven't like noticed it that much. Like, of course, I notice it, but like. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, I don't notice it too often. There's just some, some moments that are like um, more evident than others. Mm. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, one of the things I listed was, um, you know, a couple of things like one of them being kind of a big, big plot tool that they use is the bad communication. Like, like, like when we talked about um, the season six, six mid-season finale, finale mm-hmm. like even there you know jack thinking dan is back together with lisa and like it it always creates this like drama and like people think something else or they just assume and it's you know sometimes it works yeah but sometimes it's just like really annoying like if you would just you know stop and talk like this wouldn't be happening but you know i understand it's a you know well, it's the same how no one in that family can keep secrets either. That's true. Especially Lou. Yeah. It's always like, oh, how convenient that she's... Don't sold. tell anyone. No one's supposed to know. And then but... everyone knows in like two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But the, she's a person that you, you should know that you shouldn't tell secrets to. <laughs> yeah. And speaking of you know communicating you know whenever someone is having like important conversation with someone else someone else always comes in like i'm oh, sorry did i interrupt something yeah and yes, then they did. yeah and they never talk again <laughs> yeah exactly lots of the conversations or discussions just kind of get cut off and then that's yeah. it traumatic purposes i guess yeah as someone who's like born and raised on a farm Mm. no one looks like amy does every day working on a farm yeah no one it'd be like more realistic if like who does their hair and makeup to go to the barn to do horses yeah i would appreciate it but it is a pet peeve because like you should show like the more realistic side of it yeah i would love it if like that if one time she did like oh, i didn't have time to wash my yeah. hair like i just look like crap yeah put her hair in a bun and go downstairs in pajamas like yeah. i would literally go take my horses out in the morning in my robe in yeah. rubber boot no one goes out there full face makeup and hair at like 4 a.m then again now that we've been kind of like quarantined for about a year in and out or whatever do you get excited when you have a reason to kind of put on makeup and dress up? Yes and no. It would just kind of depend the mood I'm in because I really do enjoy like my independence and not having to wear makeup or go anywhere. But then sometimes I'm like, sure. Yeah. But I think it's different for everyone. Yeah. Because I'm uh, wondering, like, because Amy doesn't really go anywhere. Like, maybe yeah. she just enjoys doing that for herself yeah. or something. Like, it's fine to do. Yeah. Like, if you that's what you want to do, I fully support you. I think it's it'd be cool if I had the energy to look that good every day. Yeah. <laughs> but as someone who's lived on a farm forever, it ain't, that ain't right. <laughs> yeah. Like, I think in the earlier seasons, it wasn't that, like, mm-hmm. 
It was a little but, more realistic. Yeah, but now it's yeah. like, okay, yeah. do you have like your own stylist upstairs or what if basically, like, yeah, you know, like or, or that time when when Amy and Ty were moving from the loft into the house, season thirteen. I I don't know, season thirteen. Yeah, something like that. And she grabs like five shirts out of the closet, the only five shirts that were there, and I'm like, okay, <laughs> yeah, and like. Even now, she has, like, well, you know, we know that she has a lot of clothes, mm. but then, you know, she doesn't really have, well, I guess she could keep them in that closet, and then she yeah. has that drawer, but in season 14, we saw when she was clear clearing out Ty's clothes, it was like, yeah. <laughs> that's it? Like, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, another point that I listed was, um, the ignoring of the law, like, yeah, like, I know that they have good intentions always, but, like, they're breaking in, and they're stealing horses, and they're wielding their guns, and, mm. like, oh, yeah, when Lou had, like, that gun pointed at, yeah, the cattle i think it was cattle wrestlers season yeah. one i don't know <laughs> so i would think they would Not be at it. least like a, like a yeah don't do that but no, it, no. usually it's like well thanks for like doing whatever he did for Basically. whoever and then it's like no problem <laughs> like, like i know you know they never mean anything bad but like there's like the other pet peeve I have has to do with Ty, like, the amount of, um, like, injuries mm -hmm. and, like, the plane crash and then Mongolia and then, like, the amount of times that he's almost died. The yeah, the motorbike accident. Yeah. Jeremy pointing a gun in his face, getting beat up by poachers, like, <laughs> no, there's no other character on the show that's gone through half that shit. Yeah, I guess <laughs> like, he had like nine lives or something. He got a death wish. Wow. <laughs> well, that, that. a joke about now, but he's a fictional character. <laughs> yeah. Rip. <laughs> Around the time of season seven, there was that Heartland app. Right. And they had these like ex extra scenes in it. And there was this scene uh, in the hospital when Amy got kicked in the head. Um, mm -hmm. And the doctor asked from Lou and Ty, I think, like, what's Amy's history with, like, you know, head injuries or something. And then they were like, well, it, there was this time when she, uh, you know, almost drowned and was like, you know, when um, she, like, in season one, when she got knocked off from oh, Spartan. Oh, and she hit her head. Yes. Yeah. And then that time and this time, and I was like. It's it's a miracle she doesn't have like a brain injury or something. I have had one massive concussion and it changed my life forever. Yeah. Realistically, she would have to do she her life would change too and how she functions and everything. Yeah. Like I'm glad they did that blindness thing in season seven, yeah. but it was kind of like, well, I'm better now. Like really, yeah, like nothing else. Yeah, and she was, like, two episodes later, she was back to herself. And yeah. Like, oh. yeah, like, she had, like, post-traumatic yeah. stress disorder yeah. for a while, but they should be more realistic about, like, injuries. Yeah. Like, I remember when Georgie um, broke her hand or arm, mm. and she had the cast, and I was surprised that they even had that yeah. in the next episode or so. That didn't last long. Yeah, but still, like, it wasn't like, oh, well, she's fine in the next episode. Yeah. I know we also mentioned this a couple episodes ago, or actually in the last episode, I don't remember, but we were talking about the horses. Like, they have uh, four stalls in the barn. Oh, yes. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. So where do they all, all go? Yeah. I know there's, like, room outside, but, like... Yeah. Like it, it, the funniest one was when Mallory came back in season ten, and you know we hadn't seen Copper since I don't know when, and yeah, suddenly he he's there. Appeared. Yeah, yeah. As if he was there the whole time. Yeah. Well, that you know, speaking of that, you know, my other pet peeve: whatever happened to Caleb's horse, Shorty? 
That's true. And speaking of that, whatever happened to Lou and Lisa owning the Dude Ranch together? Yeah. Or like, why couldn't they explain Lo Lobo's yeah. disappearance? Or yeah, or just say, or just be like, Lobo passed away. Like, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. So maybe how like is not even around. <laughs> like like may maybe when uh, Bubbles the Goldfish died, they could have had like a little stone that said like Lobo or something. Yeah, the little. Oh my gosh, that episode was so good, though. So yeah. funny. I miss Julia. She's hilarious. Yeah. Oh, Julia man. Baker. That, that, that moment with Jack and Tim and yeah, the ankles they used. The toilet. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yep. the best. Very much so. Well, the loft door, of course. Yes. That, that doesn't exist anymore. And then it's like, knock, knock, are you decent? And like, no. Yeah. And like, imagine, like, I bet Amy loves the smell of horses. And, you know, it's not the worst, but like everything you have there has that smell. Yeah. Yep. And it's, it's, it's a very potent smell. And once you're around it so much, you're used to it. You mm. don't smell of it but everyone else does yeah imagine her selling the couch or something and then someone's yeah. like it smells like horse shit like where is this man <laughs> in a barn like literally kind of. yeah and and when things don't get resolved and when people mm. just like when the villains just all just disappear yeah like I even mean, it's supposed to be like this um this family um happy ending kind of a show yeah um, but it's also not very realistic yeah like i know a lot of people are wondering like where's mrs bell and you know i, I think it's yeah. you know she's not around because anna ferguson is not available because she lives in she she lives in Toronto. Toronto. And it's just because she's so yeah. she's quite elderly that yeah travels a lot. yeah but like but, I know they I said that, like, yeah, because she's supposed to be his honorary grandmother or whatever, yeah. right? Like, oh, well, that makes me sad. I didn't even think of that. Yeah, because, uh, you know, I see some people saying, like, she's in Florida and, you know, she could be, but I yeah. like Isn't that... that what they said she was, she was though, or she, where she was. She I was think that was like after like season five and then suddenly oh, she's there in season eight for the wedding or i don't know and yeah that's the i don't know I, i'm i'm sure someone's yelling at the oh, <laughs> at our voices like i know the answer yeah probably if you know tell us yeah so like we can know too. like just scream it now let it out yeah we know you know but we don't know <laughs> Dude, what am I going to do if season 15 is the last season? What are we actually going to do with ourselves? We're going to have so much time on our hands. <laughs> like, Yeah, but like... I'm not going to be okay. Yeah, like it's been like over 10 years for me. Yeah. That I've watched it. Like a daily thing that I've been thinking yeah. about and I've been keeping up with. And like it, I've... It's it's like a relationship almost yeah it's, because it's a constant thing in your life for at this point like more than over a decade yeah it's, it's gonna feel like a bad breakup or something right like that heartbreak of it not being there anymore yeah and you mentioned that you watched the friends reunion episode and i watched that oh, I too and i like <sighs> yeah like, I'm not even a big Friends fan, but I like to know what the hype is about yeah. to see if it's really worth the hype. And so I have seen Friends. I know, like, the gist of it. So I yeah. watched it. It was so emotional, not just because of the, it being a Friends reunion, but mm. it reminded me of Heartland. Yeah, same. And one day that's going to happen. And I was thinking, like, like twenty years after the show ends, if they do a reunion, I will not be okay. Yeah, me too. Like, <laughs> like I cried in the Friends reunion, and I don't even like Friends. <laughs> like, I watched Friends when it 
came out mm-hmm. like I remember watching the last episode like it was mm. like when it happened and you know that was hard yeah but I w- I'm not like a huge friends fan I don't know everything but I know yeah. like a lot the gist, yeah but well, like with Heartland like it's another level yeah and That's, like it's it's hard to describe to someone who who's outside of the circle what it's like yeah. to be in a fandom like if if when the show ends how would you want the finale to play out okay well this has kind of changed since you know ty died mm. but i think i can see um like amy at the porch maybe with lindy and then just you know looking around and like i don't know what leads up to it but yeah. or like, maybe no now that i think about it um maybe amy rescues like a horse or a pony Mm -hmm. or something and then you know she goes inside she's like telling Linda like stay there like I'm just gonna get something and then she comes outside and she stops at the porch and she she sees Lindy with the horse or pony yeah and then she flashbacks to yeah, I'm actually getting chills here. <laughs> Stop! I'm gonna cry! And she's just, like, flashbacking to every time someone joined with the horse. And she's smiling, like, ah, oh, like, what a place. Like, all these memories, like... That would be the best ending for the show. Yeah. The best. Especially now that Ty's gone and want it to be centered on Amy and Lindy. And if we could see Lindy doing join up. Yeah, like, I don't, like, if it ends something. after something. season 15, I don't know, yeah. like, how Is would she, she do that? But, like, if we yeah. have more seasons, then, you know, she will yeah. be bigger. Unless if and... they did another jump or something, but then they would yeah. have to get a whole actress to play Lindy. Yeah, and maybe, like, do, uh, like, make, do makeup on Amber to look a little bit older oh, and... But yeah, I could see it ending like that, like on a good note. Yeah, yeah. And I want them, before that last scene, I'd want them to do like a dinner table scene, one last dinner table scene with everyone. And imagine that for the first time, it would be a dinner scene where everyone's happy. Nothing like gets spoiled, like nothing goes wrong. (laughs) (laughs) Like that's a happy ending. Oh, yes. Yeah, and ju- them just, like, laughing and just, like, having, like, maybe it's not a big thing for them, but as an audience, we're like, yeah. okay, well, this is the last time we're going to see them, you know, eating together and, like, I don't know. Either way, I would never be able to watch the series finale alone, so either you're coming here or I'm going to <laughs> Finland. <laughs> okay, let's make that a deal. It's gonna be, and I'm, I'm I'm scared that the cast um, will go away after, or yeah. you know, and it's just and it's that's their right. Yeah, even if they step away from acting, that's their right to do so. They already gave us well at this point fifteen years of yeah. their life. Yeah, but and and <laughs> I mean it's got to be hard for them to think about it ending. Because yeah. it's been their family for 15 years. But, dude, it's going to hurt. <laughs> yeah. And, like, in the Friends reunion um, uh, thingy, they had that, like, they filmed that last scene. And, like, five minutes later, they're tearing down the set. And I was just thinking, like, with Heartland, like, ah, they're not going to save those sets. And, like, like, mm-hmm. like it's going to be gone. And, it's just these people are gonna go different ways, and we might never see them again. You know, like yeah, together, and, and, and if they get together for a reunion, <clears throat> I don't think there'll be enough tissues in the world. <laughs> yeah, like, like oh, even for them, but like especially for us. For me, I'm talking about <laughs> just me. <Yeah. laughs> like, 
Oh my goodness. I need to prepare. Yeah. If if they like if it's the end of season 15 and they watch it and we watch it and it's like whatever and then after we find out that it's been canceled, no. I yeah. will go to CBC myself. You're like <laughs> I want to speak to the manager. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be a Karen and be like I need to speak to your manager. Yeah. And they're like I what is that. this about? And you're like I think you know. <laughs> <laughs> where my merch <laughs> yeah like you should be expecting me <laughs> yeah like actually it's funny because we just moved into my new apartment and i'm about two blocks over from cbc london <gasps> so you're 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 like, i wouldn't even have to go far yeah like five minutes and you're like i wouldn't even have to get dressed i could just go to my pajamas <laughs> yeah <laughs> like like your hair is like on a messy bun oh, and yeah and, I need to speak to the manager. Yeah. yeah. And call an ambulance. They're going to need it. Yep. Someone's going <laughs> someone's going to get hurt whether it's me or someone else. Yeah. Scary, scary. <laughs> yeah, like that's going to go down. It's going to well. be like the news story of the night, like some raged fan at CBC gets arrested and she's yeah. in her slippers. <laughs> And then there's just, like, me getting into the cop car, just, like, cursing and swearing, and all you get is bleeps. And I'm like, I, I, I know what she's I don't, saying. I, I don't, I don't, like, do I have to bail her out, or? Yeah. I'm sending you a cake with, a like, a... Oh, with a knife yeah. in it? Or what's the, like, fla um, fla 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 A blade? Just a, is it just a blade? No, the, 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 what do you... The pencil sharpeners? When you're grooming your nails, what do you use? Oh, nail clipper. Or so no, it, no, it's the... Oh, a file! Yeah, a file! Yeah. I'm gonna send you a Just like plain shreds. Yeah. So okay. you can be like... <laughs> so I can file my nails. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, dummies! <laughs> you cannot have ugly nails in jail. You're like, oh, she has me, like, covered. Yeah. You have to send me soap. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine me being in jail with like murderers and they're like, what are you in here for? <laughs> well, they ended my favorite show. <laughs> yeah, so. They ended my favorite show. I got mad. Here we so, are. <laughs> you know, you're all going to know who's the biggest badass here over here. <laughs> hey, if your favorite show ends, call me. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, actually, I love. Speaking of that. And with the name A yeah yeah oh and with any oh those yeah. fans were nuts when yeah like I, I bet you're gonna meet at least one of them oh church. for sure oh for sure <laughs> yeah well cbc also just oh wait no the producers of um the show on cbc called kim's convenience they just oh two and yeah people are pissed yeah you got a, p a posse right there. Yeah. And I'm also not a fan of the fact that they ended Shit's Creek, so I have a lot of reasons to go to CBC. Yeah, you're like, <laughs> I have a list. Yeah. <laughs> Just, like, slap it down. There's <laughs> yeah. my demands. <laughs> yeah, like, let's get, get started. Like, we're going to be here yeah. for a long time. Yeah. Order some supper, because we're going to be here. <laughs> Order some coffee. Yeah. You're like, uh, call your kids and... You know, yeah. tell, tell them. your families you're not coming home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and the, I'd probably do that too. <laughs> yeah. So we'll know, you know, next week if yeah. I'm doing this alone, you know, what yeah. has happened. We'll know. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> You'll have to take care of my dog for me. Yeah. So over our Instagram, we had this uh, giveaway for when we reached. Uh, 100 followers yes. and um, uh, yesterday uh, I picked up the winners and um, three people won um, a different issue of Amber's Life and Style magazine so yep. so, so I congratulations yeah thank you for following yeah so if you're listening and you're like wait did I win like check your Instagram check, because yes I send DMs for each of the person who won. So if you got one, you won. But if you didn't, like, better Congratulations. luck. Congratulations. Yeah, like, better luck better next luck time. Better luck next time. We'll be doing yeah. more giveaways. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 
you know, it's always fun to give something nice to people. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah we, it's been a lot of fun doing this. Um, it's been a lot of work, but it's also been like the highlight of my week. So yeah. I really appreciate the people who listen because it just, it's nice that people agree and like yeah. to listen and have their opinions and want to be a guest. Like having guests is so much fun. Yeah. Like, getting to like meet people who, just it's just so crazy like technology has really changed throughout but the start of heartland yeah. compared to now like you'll never be able to you know yeah. do this and i remember when we were uh planning this uh you know the mm. whole thing we were just like it wouldn't be fun if we had like guests but at the same time we were it like is like what if no one listens so i had a like part of me was like the max amount of people are going to be like 30 people max yeah listen but it's it's a lot more than that yeah so thank you yeah um yeah we will see you again next week so all your snutty nosed people out there you know you know so how to awful. what to oh do God. like keep your nose clean and your powder dry and keep it away from children yeah and if it's <laughs> like uh setting powder like make sure you get that yeah. like clint i need to put put setting powder on your face but yeah don't inhale it yeah yeah and next week we should have more about season 15 yeah i'm excited yeah same same very excited dude when we get pictures i'm done oh uh, when when we get oh like God. the first like the first day. pictures of yeah. the set done. so it's the best like yes yeah. Oh hopefully God, hopefully by that time like next week we will have the first pictures and they're not like yes. holding things back or anything yeah because we want to know. know something yeah yeah so All right till then see you guys next week ciao ciao